Will that play a factor as the bell goes to begin round one? Thurman in the red, white, and blue with Garcia in the black and white with yellow. Thurman said there would be no feeling out process. There is no feeling out process. And when these guys... They're, they're usually very careful at picking their spots. Keith Thurman has been down once in his career. Garcia has never been on the canvas, but they are throwing with bad intentions early. And that's why it says... Has recorded four first round KOs all in his first seven fights. But looking to faint, walking down he Garcia. Garcia up. unloading with that lead left hook. One of his calling cards, and he just stopped Thurman with that left hand. Thinks he can do the same. Oh, but there's a sweeping left hook by Thurman. Garcia back. Wants. He, yes. he wants to counter, especially if you try to exchange the left hook, which is his big punch. Right hand. In the fighter meeting, Keith Thurman acknowledged our analysis as Danny Garcia there on the belt line as he has to be careful Ooh. not to target the peninsula below the equator as you hear those shots land. So things settling down a bit here in the second stanza, but there's a nice right upper coming inside by Thurman. And a left hand that lands for Keith. One time Thurman. Overhand right. And another right. This fight is for talking trash, which I, you know, which, which we all do. Oh, oh. man. Here's Hulk. Garcia doubled over. Oh, Thurman to the occasion. On the sport's biggest stage. Oh, but there's another thudding. Even just using those rangefinder jabs has helped oh. him in this fight. That was a left hand shot. and a left hook and a right hand by Garcia. Great body work by Garcia. Garcia rolled with... And the head movement of Thurman, timing the jab, avoiding it, that shot, avoiding it ready. <laughs> we are through three in BK. <laughs> Official score, Steve Farhood, how do you see the fight? Mo, I have Thurman ahead two rounds to one. The second round was the... They've taken turns being the aggressor. Oh, good right hand to the body by Thurman. Nice one, two. Lead left hand, but what a counter by Thurman. Backing up Garcia. Certainly done that, and that left hook was a big one by Thurman. Garcia has a big movement. Nice combination by Thurman in the final seconds. Have more knockouts than Tyson throughout his career. With 22, he's halfway towards equaling. You're just following him. You gotta step to the side and step, step to the right. Beautiful. Good 16. Seen on CBS as well. And now Garcia looking to dig away at the body with the left hooks. Now Thurman trying to establish the jab in this fight. We're starting to see it now as this fight unfolds. Yeah, he has gotten back to it. Oh, the left hook of Thurman. We've come to the end of round five. Garcia with a flurry. Neither man has been as effective offensively as they would like. Oh, sweeping. It's Danny Garcia is leading in terms of number of punches he's thrown. He's up by about oh, eight good. now. See what good combination by Garcia. A nice head movement. Good. Thurman throws his jab. I tell you what, like, and oh. more than more than once, it kind of puts this man to sleep. Danny Garcia could show this kind of foot movement. He boxed well against Matisse Andy. Lead right block on that. Left hand was right on the belt by Garcia. Farad made the good point. This could be an important round. It's been a very close one. There's a left hook that landed by Thurman as he avoided the attack by Garcia. Garcia, though, rolling as well. And of round seven. There's power in this weight class yet. Good exchange. Again, Thurman not scoring with any of those shots. And, well, Garcia misses as well. So the question for Garcia as we move on is, he has had some trouble at the end of fights. Uh, in the Encounter. for 12 here at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Right uppercut lands for Thurman. All due respect to his landing's jab a little bit more than Thurman is here. Thurman with the right uppercut and Garcia misses with the right and missed with... Dude, land that big punch. Both, let both hands go. And Al Thurman known as Garcia to pivot away. That was a very good body punch. And, and a good left hook upstairs by Thurman. And the other just from all angles, various yeah. angles. 
a good point. Right, missing with a lot of those punches as well. That one bounced off the arm, and Garcia swings widely. Wildly as we're down the stretch here in round nine. And they are swinging for the fences. I see him, the confidence. He's thinking the whole time. He's moving the whole time. It then landed the left to the body. Stepping to the left or stepping to the right. Push. Counter right hand by Garcia. I love the concentration. Lean left hook, right uppercut lands for Thurman. We are headed to the championship rounds in this, the 10th welterweight title unification fight in history. He's trying it because he has to. And yet, but the thing about it, a, a champion has to close this show. Well said, one of the greatest champions in the sport, and now they're trying to do... Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action here at Barclays Center in Brooklyn, we go to the scorecards. We have a split decision. <laughs> Judge at ringside, John McKay scores about 116 to 112 in favor of Keith Thurman. <laughs> Judge Kevin Morgan sees about 115 to 113 in favor of Danny Garcia. And judge at ringside, Joe Pasquale scores about 115 to 113 in favor of the winner. He is still undefeated. He is now the WBA and WBC Unified Welterweight Champion of the World, Keith.